going on guys uh, as i'm sure everyone is aware at this point henry cavill will no longer reprise his role as superman in the upcoming superman movie james gunn president of dc films has been working on and i don't know man i don't want to be too dramatic or anything but i feel like i've just had my heart ripped out of my chest uh <laughs> without getting into too much detail uh, growing up was difficult for me especially in my teenage years which i mean i'm sure is the case for everybody but life did decide to throw a couple extra curveballs my way and i was just not having a good time but people often like to talk about the transformative power of art and i 100 percent agree with that sentiment i think any medium of art has the power to change someone's life and I make no exaggeration when I say that Man of Steel definitely changed mine. Not only did that movie make a kid who couldn't see any sort of light at the end of the tunnel believe that a man could fly, it made him believe that even after falling from heaven and feeling like you've been swallowed by the earth beneath your feet, with the weight of the world against your shoulders crushing you further into oblivion, it was still possible to pick yourself up stand as tall as you possibly can and fly because all you had to do was be willing to try and for that Henry Cavill is always going to be my Superman now as far as my feelings go on the future of Superman on film it's bittersweet bitter for all the reasons that I listed earlier but sweet because at this point it feels like ripping off a band-aid with a clear definitive vision for the character's cinematic future and I like James Gunn you know he's one of my favorite filmmakers uh, if anybody is going to do a Superman movie he's on my short list of guys to do it James Gunn is really good at balancing high concept sci-fi fantasy with real-world drama I mean for fuck's sake the Suicide Squad is a movie where a bunch of convicted costume supervillains fight a giant telepathic starfish because the US military sent them to a third world country as part of a black ops wet works team to tie up any and all loose ends that, that would connect the American government to international war crimes. So again, for me, James Gunn is the perfect guy to write a Superman movie. Now there's no word on a director just yet, but the future of the character is promising, even if it does come at a heavy cost. But what about you? What are your thoughts regarding Henry Cavill's retirement from the role? Personally, I wish he at least got a farewell film in the vein of Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow or All-Star Superman or something like that. But it is what it is. And with, I'd think, concrete evidence that the DCEU is being overhauled, do you even care about the upcoming DCEU films? Like Shazam! Theory of the Gods, Flash... Aquaman 2, Blue Beetle, do these movies even matter at this point, now that they're essentially part of a dead continuity? Which, I mean, I know there's something to be said about taking individual films on their own terms, but the whole point of a cinematic universe is that each film is supposed to build off the next, with the promise of all of these characters interacting at some point. And... If that's not something that matters, then why weren't they standalone films in the first place? I don't know. Let me know down below in the comment section. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. I'm the Mystical Green Beanie. And as always, until next time, adios, bachelors. Adios.